Hey, what's up, you guys? So, I got a new setup here, and we are going to be talking about Dogecoin today. I am really excited because I got the new setup here. I got interesting smoothie. It's really solid, actually. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, it's so hard. Ooh, okay, anyways, yeah. So, we're going to be talking about Dogecoin today. I'm really excited about this. Last night at 3 a.m., Dogecoin ended up hitting $0.05. Cents. So I ended up buying Dogecoin back in October and December. So it was actually really cheap at the time. It was, I, I'm actually having an over 800% return right now. And that's at $0.04, cents, um, which an 800% return is a huge return considering I believe the S&P 500 pulls like, I think 7% or like something like that each year, which is, it, I mean, it's a return, you know, but uh, yeah, you don't really get those numbers uh, very often. And right now I'm holding, I'm just holding and I plan on selling a little bit of it only to make the money back from what I've spent on it, but it won't be selling a very, it won't be a large amount because a lot of it I bought really, really cheap and a mass amount of it so therefore if I sell it just a little bit to cover the cost of what I paid for it I don't think it'd be too bad and I don't think it would hurt too much and I'm just gonna hold honestly for the most part and I have a limit sell in uh, at eight cents just in case if it hits eight cents overnight and it just blows up out like out of nowhere like it did last time and we'll just see what happens I guess now to go into my predictions so my predictions here about dogecoin is that it may hit 10 cents but it's going to be sold so much at 10 cents everybody's going to be selling at 10 cents unfortunately even though we're telling everybody to hold till one dollar people aren't going to hold to one dollar it's it people might buy up to eight cents again maybe 10 cents maybe 15 but whenever you get in those increments of zero and fives i think that's whenever people start selling because for example like i said at 3 a.m this morning it hit five cents almost six cents but it ended up dropping back down now the reason it ended up dropping back down was because i believe that it's just a whole five cents uh five to zero range that people see it and they just start mass selling you know they mass buy they mass sell and it's just it's an, I think it's an ongoing thing that's going to be going on for a while. And I'm really, it's really hard to tell personally what's going to happen because it's such a volatile position to hold right now. And it's the same as crypto uh, or any crypto. Like uh, Bitcoin, for example, was at like 32,000, you know, a week ago here and now it's up at like 37,000 again. It just, it jumps so much. And the thing is, I don't really think it will hit a dollar this year. If it does hit a dollar this year, that'd be awesome. But if it does, I, I think it, the possibility, um, in a good, looking at it from like a good perspective, that something positive can come out of this. I can see it maybe hitting like 10 cents, maybe like tops 25, but I can't really see it going over like 50 cents or anything. I feel like that's a lot. It's a, it's a quite a bit. And uh, the thing is, is we all need to make a profit. We're not all in this to not make anything out of it. You know, a lot of these people, you know, are buying a lot and holding a lot. And, you know, I'm holding quite a bit right now. But the thing is, I know that I'm going to have to sell eventually. And I don't want to sell until it hits close to a dollar. Now, the thing is, is I like I said, I do want to sell a little small portion of it and whenever, if it hits eight cents, only to cover the cost of what I paid for it. Therefore, it'll be pretty much a free stock, I guess. I mean, it's uh, we're... It would be a free crypto slash stock, I guess. It would pretty much be free at that point. I just want to sell, make a small profit, all while also pretty much covering the cost of what I paid for it. I just think it's a really safe way of going about it, especially since it's so 
volatile right now. I, it's really hard to tell what's going to happen. It could drop at any moment and just disappear. It's really hard to tell. Um, it's I don't. It's got a pretty strong user base and uh, backing to it. So it'd be very. I'd be very surprised to see it just like shoot down the hole. But it's possible. It is possible. But I, I'm not too sure if that's really going to happen anytime soon, at least. So, but. Yeah, I um, I just wanted to talk. Yeah, I just wanted to talk a little bit about Dogecoin and just kind of share what I what I think of it. I guess I I just wanted to share. I believe that with the help of Elon Musk, we could possibly see a dollar, uh, maybe next year. Maybe I would say it tops twenty five cents this year. I think that it might hit twenty five cents this year. And it's going to be very hard not to sell because I'm going to be making quite a bit of money from that. And I don't know if I want to sell half or stay in. And uh, because, you know, I have friends who uh, trade stocks and stuff like that. And they're just like, you're very greedy because like you could pull out so much right now. And I'm like, well, listen, like. I know I could pull out more eventually because I've seen it, you know, I've seen it go up. So it's, it's, it's really hard. Honestly, you don't really know what to do. You don't want to panic sell. You don't want to panic buy or you can't, well, it's really hard right now because you don't really want to panic sell, but you also want to make a profit and you always, you, you also don't want to like lose something, you know? Cause like I could have made $300 on naked brand the other day and all in, I put in 47 bucks. I could have made uh, a total of 300 on it, right? And I had to sell it at like a little less than a dollar because of how much it fucking dropped. It was just, it was just dropping immensely. And I, there's nothing I could have done about it. Um, I should have, I was waiting for it to hit $5 so I could pull out 500 And I, I was greedy and I waited. And that's what I'm worried about Dogecoin is that a lot of people are going to hold but there's going to be too many people that are selling and all those holders are going to be losing that money while other people are making those quick returns so it's really hard to actually just judge dogecoin as a uh as a good thing to invest in or maybe even just like trade i it's really difficult um i to be honest, I'm not too sure. It, right now, it's dropping down to four cents, and like it's a, it's close to like three. It's very close to three. So it'll probably hit like three cents today, and then probably jump around the three, maybe four cent range. But maybe Elon Musk will tweet about it, and then it'll hit seven. I have, no, I have literally no idea. That's just how um, this works. It's ridiculous, and there's nothing that we could do about it. But. Uh, I guess just um, you guys do whatever you want to do with it, but personally, I'm going to be holding and going to be selling a small portion at a cents to cover the cost of what I paid for it, just to keep myself in a safer position, you know, uh, based on my position personally. I, I that's what I want to do, and yeah, if you guys are invested in Dogecoin, then. I would love to hear you guys share some information down below and maybe whenever Monday rolls around because uh, I plan on taking the weekends off for YouTube I can make a video talking about a little bit more Dogecoin if you guys want to hear that I'm totally cool with making a video like that it'd be really fun and yeah I just want to hear your guys's um your guys's positions in Dogecoin right now and let Let's all shoot for the moon together, honestly. And yeah, you guys can check out um, the links below. I got Weeble and I got Robinhood for you. Now, Robinhood kind of sus, but I have so much in it right now that I don't really want to transfer. It just seems like a pain in the ass right now. And I would also uh, not be able to transfer Dogecoin anyways because Weeble doesn't offer it. So I'm kind of in a rough position. I probably could transfer to like uh, maybe something else, like some crypto thing, but it would probably cost about 150 bucks to trade uh, or to transfer from Robinhood to Weeble to another one as well. 
um, because they have a $75 fee. So in, if I did it to two different things, then I would probably be charged $150. So I don't really want to deal with that. Therefore, I'm just sticking with uh, what I have right now. I'm just doing a lot of trading and stuff. Um, or not a lot, but some trading on Weeble. If you guys want me to talk about that, I'm totally open to that. That'd be really cool. And yeah, I just, uh, I really, um, I'm really happy to be talking about this. And I'm really happy to be here on YouTube with you guys. And if you guys want some free stocks, then check out those links below and get investing. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.